about to react some, to some of this Jacksonville Most Wanted game. Julio Ace. Yep, we we'll start that over. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? What's cracking? It's your boy Keith reacting, and I'm back, man. So listen, we're about to react to some Jacksonville Most Wanted Games. Young and Ace, ATK versus Julio Julio. Y'all already know I reacted to that Who I Smoked. And hey, I ain't choosing no side, because I got some Julio shit coming as well pretty soon. So don't trip. I'm just cooking it up, you know? We're cooking. So my boy Insider Hip Hop, Hot Spot, I mean Insider Hot Spot, he made a video on it, man. So we about to check that out together, gang. And see why any of this shit even has started, bro. Why did this shit even start? You know what I mean? But why is it this deep? Why is it this much bloodshed? Let's find out. Let's jump right into it, gang. Um, what else can I say? Subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. And like the video before we even get into it. Let's go, gang. Oh, like, like everything I've been through, what you think? Yo, I think about Delph every day. 50k on your head. You don't know. You don't never know who's coming. I ain't gonna let you step on me. Oh, that was that. That's how I know we live in two different lives, man. Cause I don't think about death at all, bro. At all. This man said I think about death every day. It's hard to even think, bro. That you gotta go through that, my boy. That's tough. You disrespecting my dad, all the boys, and I want to diss your dad. You know what I'm saying? Out of the blue, I'm gonna get shot. I think I got shot. I blanked out, but I didn't hear my little brother. I said, I'm about to die. I put it on my table. How could I slip? Jacksonville police have arrested yeah. the only surviving of the quadruple shooting. I, this tragedy just happened to me. Like I'm mad, bro. They're not letting me go to my brother's film. No, the consequences are real because of the street. I cried like, fuck with Steve. I'm like, I'm. They definitely do be on that type of time, bro. Like, I remember my grandma passed away. And they wouldn't let my uncle go to the funeral because he was in prison, bro. That shit is fucked up, bro. Like, literally the last time he ever would see his mom, and they was like, nah. Ooh. There's a new wave of rappers that have been steady on the rise in Jacksonville, taking over and putting their city on the map. But no matter how these artists blow up, their street life, always seem to tag along and get in the way of their success. We've seen so many lives lost, and Jacksonville is overshadowed by the situation between two rival cliques. Young and Ace ATK and Julio Fulio's KTA have been leaving a trail of bodies behind their beef and the body count. ATK and KTA? Shit, the same shit just backwards? Like, I am dead. Doesn't seem to be near stopping. With both being shot, near losing their lives, Ace and Julio's beef are spilling over into their camps, and that's Jacksonville hot. I've got the inside scoop between the camps, and we're gonna focus in on the drama and melee surrounding Julio and Ace. Let's dig into this rivalry that's terrifying the city of Jacksonville and just who's who in the beef. Youngers have been wildin' in Jacksonville lately, creating a surge of gunplay that has rocketed the side race. Jesus, look at those red marks. Yeah. Hold on. Yo. That whole shit is red right there. Hell no. Don't come over here. Don't bring your ass over here. This I'm dead, bro. It's in their mind. Like, I don't know if the 2000 baby really. Like, it's in their mind. They just turned right now. Like, I don't know, bro. If they mean tell that they should shoot first, I don't know, bro. I don't. Yeah, it's a fact. That's a fact, bro. Back in the day, a nigga could take an ass whooping. Nowadays, a nigga ain't even seeing if he can take an ass whooping. He just like, you know what? I got the blick, so you getting blicked. That boy spends, uh, I spent 600 on this block. Why would I fight you? Like, yo. And niggas really be feeling like that, bro. Like, well, cheap key wave, I don't know who did it, but he just turned up. Damn, there was cheeky. But the two notable rappers Definitely that have been in the highly publicized beef, resulting in multiple lives lost, are fully up. And I'm not blaming it on Cheeky, bro. But his music turned up a lot of niggas. You feel me? And Ace. Now, Julio's crew, KTA, stands for Kill Em All. And that's well, what I was thinking. That's self explanatory. Ace, on the other hand, is no more subtle in their savagery. His ATK has been rumored to be tied to his name, meaning Ace to Kill, with the signature writing Spade 2X. But word on the street is that his real meaning is Aim to Kill. 
these rappers aren't the ones that do the talking. Ah, okay. And, okay, see, look, that's the part of the video that dog was at shooting in his hood. This Melvin Park shit right here. That's why it was so, that's why I was, this is the Melvin Park. That's why I was so disrespectful right here. Okay. All right. Now we're getting into it. Now we're definitely getting into it. Wow. They live that life and had a scars and blood trail to prove it. Now, where did all this start? Young and Ace yeah, let's see. the face of Jacksonville since his debut hit, go to which showcased the rapper's versatility, being from the type of lifestyle he came up in, the beats follow, and the one that cost him many friends, family, and nearly his own life is the one that his crew, ATK, had with KTA. And Julio, who was also one of Jacksonville's buzzing rappers, was started out as a confusion between two rappers that could have been squashed by a simple conversation became something that engulfed Jacksonville. Well, like, the outside people that ain't, like, from, like, Duval and shit, that don't, like, this shit ain't what it, like, like, if you ain't from here, you gonna know what's going on in the streets of Duval, so shit. With that being said... In other words, with that being said, be a motherfucking fan, bro. Enjoy the music for what it is, bro. You can enjoy both sides, bro. You and not gotta fucking be in a beef, bro. So it ain't that deep. So if y'all just see each other, it'll be cool. The retaliation. It ain't that deep. Cap. And dropping the bodies on each camp sparked from the banging of Julio's cousin, Zion Brown, which seemed like a planned hit. 18 year old Zion Brown was the only adult in the Damn, home along with two teens, a nine year old and a six year old. Boy. Cousin? And get this the trigger puller, DeAndre Thomas, was wanted by the cops for a failed robbery with Young and Ace that got Ace seven months in the pen. Zion would be the first reported fallen victim in the beat that then set things spiraling out of control. The ops would get their get back on ATK. Young and Ace would be the target while celebrating his blood brother, Trayvon Buller, aka Quan Quan, 18th birthday. Detailing the gruesome scene where his blood brother Quan through the streets, Royale Smith and close friend, Jacoby Groover, aka Bo, lost their lives, leaving him with eight bullet wounds. Ace became even more cold. Jesus. A shooter. Oh my goodness, bro. What? So, it, hold on, bro. Hold on. Wait, hold on. So, like, they killed two of his homies, and he survived? Hold on. Hold on. Blood brother, Trayvon Buller, a.k.a. Quan Quan, 18th birthday. Detailing the gruesome scene where his blood brother Quan through the streets, Royale Smith, and close friend, Jacoby Groover, a.k.a. Bo, lost their lives. Leaving him with eight bullet wounds, Ace became even more cold. Oh, okay. A shooter Damn, or I'm shooters sorry, on yeah, the okay. run after four teens are gunned down on the south side. What we're running about, and then killed in a drive-by shooting. 18-year-old Trayvon Bullard, 19-year-old Jacoby Gruber, and 18-year-old wow. Royale wow. Smith. They lost their lives late last night. Police say the shooter. And these niggas look young as hell. This shit is so sad, bro. These niggas look young as hell. 18-year-old Trayvon Bullard, 19-year-old Jacoby Gruber, and 18-year-old Royale. And they know look young. That's why I have to rewind it for a little bit. I'm talking a little bit too much. But these niggas are young, bro. 18 and 19? Uh-huh. He was like, uh, he was like a daddy with me because my dad was going 15 years in prison. And he was like that. The, the head out of that, that one person left that man just control it. Man, I don't know. My brother got shot in front of me. That was a bit long. You know what I'm saying? Shit. That was a big, that was the biggest loss I ever, I ever experienced. Dude, I, I bet, bro. I wouldn't, bro. What? Bro, I can imagine, bro. Brother getting killed in front of you, bro. Man. I don't speak too much on that, but say, ooh, he just got shot. Dude, he shot him. He got shot in front of me, though. You know what I'm Hey, that, was a bit long, uh, that nigga probably don't speak too forward. much on that shit because that shit would make you mad. It'll make you want to retaliate. Get you in your feelings. Probably make you cry, to be honest, bro. Feeling the weight of blaming himself for not protecting his day one. I'm lost. I feel like it's my fault. I always feel like that. I'm a fellow feel like that. Everybody say don't feel like that. But you don't, you don't know how that feel. Like. It's like everybody on the watch, like, they right here with you. How could you let this happen? To this day, day three faces is inked across his abdomen. As we've and seen countless times before, once the bodies start piling, beef just keeps escalating. 
and only catches on to everyone around. Now, but damn, they killed three of his homies at one time. That, bro, what? I can't, bro. I just, bro. I just lost two people back to back, but it wasn't even to gang violence or to shooting, bro. But still hurt. But I can't even imagine using people you close to from gun violence, bro. Three at the same time? How would they expect your head to be on straight after that, bro? You're going to want to do something to somebody, bro. You don't want to kill something, bro. You're going to want to do something, bro. You ain't going to just want to sit there and take it, bro. Especially if you know who the niggas was. Now, ATK and KTK was in an all-out battle at this point, with their main man fighting for his life on a hospital bed. I'm trying to kill the phone. I'm trying to open it. 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 I'm trying to He'd been shot eight times, and I believe at that point we had three or four or eight bullets inside of him still. Well, um, considering he really needed to go to a hospital. Because he didn't have well, insurance, the hospital wouldn't take the bullets out of him. What? So while he... You gonna let me die because I ain't got insurance, bro? That's tough, bro. It costs to live. Literally. That is fucking tough. They said we ain't taking the bullets out because you don't have insurance. Whew. Was in custody. It was really became that part. It, it was the responsibility of the sheriff's office to make sure he got the medical care he needed. Sheriff's office didn't give him medical care. They didn't give him antibiotics, and they basically just said left him fuck in. you. They basically just said fuck you. That's what they said. In there, ATK was slipping slowly. Julio took the opportunity to turn his eyes and make light of Ace's fallen brothers and homies. Royale, Royale Smith, is that 4X? Who else that is? Quad, quad! Ace caught wind of Folio's antics while recovering, got out of the hospital, dropped a freestyle. Laying in the hospital bed, they shots to my body and on my mind and my brother. They say, them three didn't make it. For the pain all the way I can take it We got on Julio's up, head bro. And his KTA ops For talking sideways about the loss of his bro Who Damn ready got on KTA Damn ready got on Julio head bro For disrespect bro What They be riding To the gate hell Man kill my brother boy. Kill my brother so Don't let them tell you that you think you didn't kill my brother? You didn't f with me that shit in their songs? They better stop that shit. Y'all better f with that motherfucker. Right. But hey, they might. Niggas, niggas, the miss shit in their songs, they do. Right after they do it. Nigga. It was the shit I was watching. They said this nigga committed murder, then went to the studio and made the diss song right after, bro. Like, literally. He pulled up to the studio after he committed the murder. The first stop he made was to the motherfucking studio to talk about what the fuck he did. So, hey, you never know, bro. I don't know. Rock was like, he ain't gonna play with me. Ain't no nigga. I ain't gonna play with me, bro. He's like, fool, he ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna play with me, bro. I'm about my shit. I'm about my business. Willie O'Bean, the Jackson Bay Ripper, double down on his word in the face of threats and taunts. Just because of the streets, if you're in the streets and you're wrong, like, you know what the consequences are, you dead or you're in jail, bro. Oh, well, people realize that too late till a nigga dead though, like you feel me? People just felt like I was wrong. Said, really, all this I had to know the consequences of what yeah. happened to you. Right. So, that's how I took it. You know what I'm saying? I said what I said. The time proved this to not be the best decision. True though, you know what comes with this shit. You learn anything you definitely know what comes with this shit. It's what? Don't disrespect nobody's fallen homie. Don't. That continues to be one of the main reasons for you to get spun out of control and turn a situation into an endless cycle of gunplay. That's a fact. You disrespecting my dead homeboy, so now I want to bitch your dad. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like a little tip for tax shit like that. Fulio and his gang seem to have the upper hand and continue yeah, pressing ATK. Fair. This is where things got <laughs> even more dicey. Turns out, a rapper by the name of Willie Addison, aka Boss Goon, got shot up after leaving the Paradise Club with relatives where he just performed at the club. Damn. Two or three cars, 
pulled up on the side of us, shot inside our car over a hundred times. Hundred over a hundred. Shot my son in the front seat. Shot my son in the back, in in the head three times. One hundred. Shot my nephew several times. Couple more passengers in there were shot. And that's what I be saying, bro. Y'all be dragging y'all families into this shit, bro. They, niggas' families don't deserve this shit, bro. Over a hundred shots into the car. Why do niggas' families deserve this? Ah, bro. Foolishness, bro. Several times, numerous of times. And I drove all the way from there to Memorial Hospital, shot in the back myself twice. This happened to be the brother and family members of Ace's right hand man and shooter. See, that's what it is. That's why a dog had committed this crime, Queso. Okay, it also doesn't make sense now. This is Queso, brother. Okay, 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 okay. Hey Sue, this dude don't care, and we'll find out why I say that soon. Six people total sustained injuries, including Kesu's dad, Abdul Robinson, but his brother Boss Goon. And that's why his dad retaliated with him. Bro, you never hear no father and pop shit like that, bro. But he was like, hell yeah, bro. Fuck you mean? Yeah, we been around on these niggas, bro. You damn right we are. These niggas shot me in my back. Bro. Hell yeah. You damn right. He was like, hell yeah, I'm down. Let's go. That's crazy. I was always wondering, like, his dad? Like, never heard no shit like that, but... Didn't make it. Boss was only out for a couple months from a 10-year sentence. Hey, Sue already plotting revenge on his mind. Got the perfect chance to exact retribution alongside his father. Carrying out a hit on rapper Charles McCormick, a.k.a. KTA Lil Buck, who was drilled in Arlington during a daytime ambush in the shopping plaza. Both K. Sue and his father set news outlets and hip-hop sites on fire with the father-son hit that upped the score for ATK. Developing now... See, that's what I was just talking about, because I had heard about this before I even knew about this fucking ATK, KTA shit, bro. I heard about a nigga and his fucking pops killing a nigga in the mall, bro. That was over all the news, bro. I don't, like, I don't know if y'all didn't hear that. I don't know why y'all didn't hear that. But I heard about that. And that's crazy, bro. That's, like I said, that shit is unheard of. News outlets and hip-hop sites on fire with the father-son hit that upped the score for ATK. Developing now, a father and son have been arrested in connection with a police shooting at an Arlington shopping center. 21-year-old Hakeem Robinson and his father, 49-year-old Abdul Robinson, are both in the Duval County key jail. Let's pause a bit to talk about Ace's shooter, K. Sue. If his name sounds familiar, he was the rapper that made international news for placing his lost ops on his album cover. Yep, you heard that right. Dude don't give two Fs. This album cover... It hurts my heart, like, to see my son on there as a joke. But wait, there is a great significance in this. If you pay attention to the subliminal list of ATK, this in cover. itself was an act of disrespect that hit home for Julio because many of the names were a reference to his fallen KTA homie like Dirk, Zion, and his homie Bibi Osama. Gunfire erupts inside a northwest side apartment complex that leaves this 16-year-old dead. Who aced them constantly disrespected online after deleting them. Damn. Oh, hold on, let's go back. TK, this in itself was an act of disrespect that hit home for Fulio because many of the names were a reference to his fallen KTA homie, like Dirk, Zion, and his homie Bibi Osama. Gunfire erupts inside a northwest side. Damn, he, so they shot this 16 year old boy and they bragging about it? Yo, what? Apartment complex that leaves this 16 year old dead. Who aced them constantly disrespected online after deleting them. Dog. That's damn. Damn, damn, damn. They got that shit mix and master from that to what they brought out. Yo. He said he cremated his ass. Po ass dead nigga. The disrespect, bro. These niggas are disrespectful in Jacksonville, boy. Woo. 
This wound cut deep for Fulio, releasing his tribute track, Bibby Story, to his close friend that became a notable record from the KTA rapper. Oh, David, I'm my little brother. Yeah, I died and shit. Uh, that shit, that song, no, that, that was like a tribute, a testimony to him. A lot of time I was like one of the last niggas here with before he, he passed and shit like that. K Su for assault in the wound with his disgustingly disrespectful diss track, K Su <laughs> detailing scenes from the hit. And you know we smoke look <laughs> The bodies just kept stacking up, but the beef. I'm with you fucking remix Bobby, bitch. Bobby, bitch. And you tell you know we smoke love baby, bitch. Yo, it's not the first time they got disrespectful over their son. They ain't dropping. It's not. It's not gonna be the fucking last either. Show no sign of slowing down between Julio's KTA and Ace's ATK. Soon, just as Ace felt was wet up, Julio got a brush with the grave when a bullet grazed his skull and an attempt on his life. The bitch uh shot me when they killed me on Kendrick. Told bitch I didn't shot me today, he killed me. And that's what Dawg said. We let off shots and we let off shots and he got shot and went live. Dog, what? I was sitting like, fuck man, that bitch ain't die. Let me find out you're talking about Julio, Julio, bro. This all this shit started to make sense now. That's crazy. What? Stupid. And when he survived and they couldn't finish the job. They later banged on his girl, nearly taking her life as well. Yeah, I thought I was banged. Yeah, I fucked me up. Damn, I <laughs> By this point, they both shot camps have already lost so much, and with people close to them. But no matter how much their music got more attention, and their fame kept rising, the street mentality was just too deep to let go and move on. After having an attempt on his life, where he narrowly survived, Ace was again the target, while at the Waycross Hotel, where he was staying while in the area for a performance. He got away unscathed this time, but one of his homies was injured, and the other was added to KTA's scoreboard. The scene of Sunday's shooting, a group of men, including rapper Young and Ace, were near the pool when they were shot at, according to police. Damn. Julio couldn't wait for a chance to jump at the opportunity, continuing to mock Ace and his ATK hitman, k Sue, lost homies, himself losing two more of his KTA comrades, Spaz 2X and Rod K, one day after the what? next. After Man, they made a TikTok with the bubbles popping up. You niggas poor. Um, smoking 23 and somebody else. What the fuck, bro? What? Day after the next, after it appeared, Rod K will pull through. It's like an endless back and forth, man. It is. One moment tap. KTA is laughing, the next ATK. Truth is, no one has the last laugh when it comes to beef. They Just don't. pain and falling home. But Ace and her right mama, man, ATK K Su, had to go tip for tat, calling Julio for losing two more members. And since the mom was sitting at that the same way, back in the box, come on, Julio took it in stride, posting up a single message before going right Wait, back to mean? resuming the beat. I ain't getting to it, ain't getting to me because nothing can get to me because that's what the streets owe us. The world gonna keep going. I'm really disappointed, but I'm gonna keep focused. No cap though, when you're in the streets, that's definitely what the streets owe you. At least he know, bro, no lie. No lie. Get in stride, posting up a single message before going right back to resuming the beat. This time, taking things a step further, aiming for Ace's shooter, k Su, who the cops caught on to and locked up by this time for the hit on Lil Buck. Julio made fun of his arrest and even dragged his pops into the beat and exposed k Su, posting receipts of his sister rocking with his set as well as k Su repping for Julio before he jumped size to Ace. Damn. Damn, so dog, your sister used to be over there? Hold on, bro. His sister used to be over there with the KTA niggas? This time for the hit on Lil Buck. So it's the same thing we see with these bids. 
Dude was always friends turned enemies. Dude was as talented and really putting Jacksonville on the map to slowly Respect. draw new rappers like Spot Em, Got Em, and Jay the Younger into the beat. Mm. This ain't never, this ain't never putting no work. Niggas just be rapping on mic. I don't just rap. I don't talk about other niggas life on my mic. Be me, nigga. Damn. Spot Em, Got Em. Damn. I don't want you got a baby on the way because you riding Ace dick. Well, we'll address that in a separate video. Tough. For now, we'll keep our eye on how things turn out and trust. I'm going to update you, you with mean, the you know how they gonna turn out. It's getting crazier and crazier in Jacksonville. The way things is going, it's crazy the crazy. OGs of ATK and KTA might be gone if this keep up. For men, for shit. That's it for this video. Let me know what you want to see in the upcoming video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Facts, like he said, but shit. No lie, bro. That was a dope ass video. Just like the other one I had checked up just like this one not too long ago. Bro. And you mean how's this gonna end, bro? It's not gonna never end, bro. This some shit that's a never ending cycle. Sorry to say that. But that's the truth, bro. We just gotta hope that everybody be safe that's doing this shit. You feel me? That's all we can hope for. Pray for them. That's about it. But I'll further ado though, your boy just psh, we done with this shit. So if you stuck around this long, fucks with you, man. I fucks with you. I'ma see y'all in the next one, but don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. Peace out. It's your boy keeps reacting.